Hey guys, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a test of uh, Unigine uh, version 3.0 and you can see here um, all the settings are set on my on high uh, tessellation extreme, uh, shaders high anisotrophy 16 uh, uh, times uh, anti-aliasing is 8 times and the resolution is uh, full HD 1920 by 8, uh, 1080p I'm just gonna run the, the test. Right, so we are now uh, at the main screen, and I'm just gonna press the key, and we're gonna start running the test. So you're going to be able to see later on my com uh, computer configuration, but I'll let you know anyway because we have time, uh, like a few minutes, this test is going to be around a few minutes. So um, um, I've got a 2600K i7 CPU, I've got 8 gigs of, uh, eight gigabytes of RAM, DDR3 working on uh, 1600 megahertz. I've got AT-T Radeon 7970. And I've got um, three um, hard drives, 160 gigabytes each, working in RAID 0. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Oh, um, and quickly just to mention, so that's my, that's my computer, that's how it looks like. Um, it has a cooling master case with uh, Enermax. 1000 watts power supply so yeah let's see what's gonna happen with the test so I've got some other videos there where I can uh, I actually uh, from my previous computer where I uploaded um, you know uh, price against performance uh, tests where um, you know the whole idea is basically to build a budget PC where you're gonna be able to get a maximum performance for your money. So the computer they've got right now it is um, a little bit more expensive than my previous one, but uh, in terms of performance, it's doing a lot better. So. Uh, because of the CPU now, my previous CPU was uh, 2600, so it wasn't the overclockable version of the um, of the CPU. Now I've got the 2600K, which is overclockable, and the CPU works now at 4 gigahertz. Uh, I'm using at the moment the stock cooler, but I'm waiting for my new one that's gonna arrive um, and it's gonna allow me, hopefully, to achieve a little bit better speed and from there I'm gonna get a little bit better score too but um, even with the stock color now uh, the temperature doesn't go above 70 degrees and I know that's pretty high but as I said like when I get the, the other color that I've ordered uh, the temperature will go down for sure um, and the graphic card at the moment is also overclocked but uh, it works perfectly and the temperature again doesn't go when it's fully loaded it doesn't go above 70 degrees which I know again is is is, is not uh, the best temperature, but it's working perfectly. So the the video card works on uh, uh, the core clock is uh, basically 1,050 megahertz, and the RAM is working on um, 1,550 megahertz. So probably I'll, I'll be able to squeeze a little bit more uh, of the video card, but I don't want to push it too too much. I don't want to do, you know, just to overclock it just for the test. And after that, obviously, if if you're not able to play games or if you're not able to use it normally, then what's really the point? Just to squeeze, just just to squeeze your hardware for a, a few seconds. I don't really see the point of that. So I think it's the best overclock is when you actually maintain your overclock speed during everything else, like gaming, working with your computer, everything you do. So that's uh, I think that's the most reasonable overclock. All right, we are almost done with the benchmark. We have a few more seconds to go, 
and by the way that's my Yamakasi Q27 uh, A270 LED it is an amazing screen if you have the chance to get one definitely do it guys it costs uh, 215 pounds for the price you're not gonna get a better one and this is my score so we've got a score of 1222 uh, minimum FPS 20.4 maximum 120.8 and average FPS of 48.8 again those are my this is my computer configuration these are all my specifications and those are the settings of the benchmark so I hope you enjoyed that video and see you soon guys